Hello everyone. I didn't want to make a Christmas feat, as I find it so vulgar when one queen tries to pull focus from another. Liz got Christmas Day. God save the queen. So, what can I say about 2020? It started off pretty well, just the usual winter blues and people going about their lives. Then the COVID-19 pandemic struck and the whole year has been turned upside down. People locked up in their houses with terrible hair, Amazon posting record profits because as a nation, we just can't stop buying crap. The government giving some of us a lot of free money and a vast majority of people being absolutely screwed. It's been a year of learning, realizing that you don't actually like anyone you live with or shockingly, you really do. Figuring out the difference between day pajamas and night pajamas, it's underwear by the way. The Amazon man doesn't need to see your bare tits flopping about under your Hello Kitty nighty. Discovering what it is you really miss and you definitely don't miss. I hope this year has had some positive effect on you, as well as seeing just how selfish and frankly disgusting people can be. I've seen an amazing amount of good. People taking food to those who are isolated, organising Zoom calls with elderly relatives. Is it on? Checking up on neighbours. At this time of year, we also reflect on those who are no longer with us. Whether it's because of COVID or not, every loss is extremely sad. And while it can sometimes be difficult, we shouldn't dwell solely on the fact that someone is gone, but be grateful they were here at all. And while they lived, we were able to live with them. It's also important to remember that we're all still here. We should live our lives the way our lost loved ones would want us to, happily. Let's hope we can get some normality back in 2021. We have plenty of vaccines for everybody, but the main thing we should make sure we have plenty of is kindness, empathy and understanding. And even if, quite understandably, you've lost them, find your manners. We're all here for the duration, so there's absolutely no merit in being a dick to one another. Finally, wear a bloody mask. If you can't wear a mask because you'd struggle to breathe through three microscopically thin pieces of paper, don't risk it, as I'm pretty sure a strong fat would finish you off, never mind a potentially fatal respiratory disease. Let's all do our bit, and hopefully we will get there sooner rather than later. Thank you for all your love and support this year, and to you and those you hold dear, Happy New Year.